Okay, everybody, welcome to part B. So, what's going on? A migrant crime spree. Robbers are accused of sneaking up on their unsuspecting victims, mostly women, on mopeds and scooters. Fox News Kendall Green is live in the Morris Park section of the Bronx with more. Kendall? Hey, good evening, Stephen Natasha. Police made multiple arrests in an apparent grand larceny scheme where they target unaccompanied women, and those involved are accused of snatching their purses and their phones, all to make money, while the mastermind behind it remains on the loose tonight. So check this out. Let's, let me understand this. So more than likely, the people that you're robbing are, oh, taxpayers. You know, the taxpayers that are paying out, let's say, or oh, NYC, the $53 million for the prepaid credit cards. The taxpayers that pay for the hotels where they stay. The taxpayers that pay for the food that's catered in. The taxpayers who are paying for your free health insurance for you and your baby. I thought Biden said that they were here to work and really work hard. Yeah, shaking down the American is how I see it. NYPD walking this duo, 20-year-old Alexander Daker and 24-year-old Roxana Sejos out of the 49th Precinct Monday evening. They're alleged foot soldiers part of an elaborate grand larceny scheme across the city. And in lower Manhattan, police walked a second pair out of the first precinct involved in the same scheme with vicious capabilities. These thieves would ride up behind their victims on the sidewalk, steal their property, and then make their getaway. The majority of the victims are women simply just walking alone. NYPD released this video showing a victim being dragged by someone on a moped and flung into a metal beam. All to and I saw that. All to what? Still a cell phone. The so let's see. I'm assuming that's a taxpayer and American citizen. Let's just say it is. Dragged and your body's flung into a metal pole because they want your cell phone. I'm sure the person's probably injured. And sometimes injuries, they're delayed. Just in shock of it all. Now all your information, now you got to go and get a new phone. Let's see, a lot, a lot of Americans, most of Americans are what, paycheck to paycheck. So I hope they're not still paying for the phone. So we're paying both ways. When they rob you and then you look up, you're being robbed, in my opinion, of your tax dollars. But hey! I guess the illegal immigrants are happy, especially the criminals. The leader of the crew, identified as Victor Para, will blast out a message via WhatsApp that he is looking for phones. Power will send out specific orders for what type of phone he is looking for. Around 5.30 Monday morning, the NYPD executed a search warrant at the alleged ringleader's home, where they arrested five people, recovered 22 stolen phones, along with victims' IDs. But the mastermind behind it all was nowhere to be found. There are a total of 62 incidents that we've connected to this pattern so far. Hold on a minute. So, again, we're already paying for them to be here. I mean, they are basically getting a free ride that the majority of Americans haven't gotten. I've never gotten this a, a free ride. My father supported us. So we're already paying for them. You got the welcome mat. We get, you got our darn money. We're feeding you, you and your kids. You come here with nothing, with your dirty palms out. Just take, 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 take. And when you are a criminal, yeah, you're, you're d dirty palms. And you come over here doing dirt. Got a whole ring go going on. How many phones? 22 stolen phones along with victims' IDs. But and your ID. behind it all was nowhere to be found. There were a total of 62 incidents that we connected to this pattern so far. 62 incidents. Well, I guess that's what happens when you have open borders. You don't know who you're letting in. You got some criminals up in here. Touching every borough in New York City, except Staten Island. The fraudsters, were told, had their eyes on the dollar signs. Police say the scooter operator could make $100 a day. and The actual phone snatchers could pocket between $300 to $600 per stolen phone. Wow. And the most challenging part for police is tracking down criminals with an indefinite amount of IDs. They can get hard to tell who's really who. They're essentially ghost criminals. <laughs> no criminal history. 
no photos, no cell phone, no social media. Ghost criminal. So how are you going to find a ghost? A ghost criminal. But that's what happens when you have open borders. That's what happens. Matter of fact, because you like open borders when you go to sleep tonight, guess what? No need to lock your door. Let anybody just come on in your house, in your apartment, in your condo. You don't know who you're letting in. Just open, but just come on over. And now look. Unbelievable. Oh, I thought Joy B said, oh, now here to work. Yeah, they're working all right. Working on getting paid under the table. They're working all right. These right here are some uh, criminals. Again, we're already you're already getting access to our tax dollars. The same tax dollars that Americans cannot get access to, but you 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 got them. <laughs> Many Americans are in a bind right now, and there's no help coming. But hey, at least the tax dollars are working for the politicians, in my opinion, and definitely the illegal immigrants who haven't paid in fifty cents. You just showed up. Look at Chicago, $9,000. And some people think it's not real. Go ahead and be delusional. NYC, don't be surprised some of the same ones engaging in this criminal act activity uh, be the same ones that will be getting $1,000 every 28 days for family and food stamps, courtesy of the American taxpayer who's also would likely getting robbed. Already booting the veterans out of housing, even the senior citizen. Already booting Americans out of shelters and having to move them to a different, less accommodating shelter. And look what we're getting. Already beating up the cops. Boop, boop, fighting the cops. And if you notice, I saw the video when they attacked the police. While the police was on one of them, they didn't stand around, which is kind of common in America and some communities, and just start recording. Not that I'm saying to attack, but I noticed that they're the ones who got it started. And when the police try to grab, uh, try to, um, I guess, help the other cop or something, I saw one. He up there on the cop's back. You ain't finna hurt Julio. Oh. Got it. Duly noted. So this is what your tax dollars are paying for. This is what happens when you have open borders. Again, no picture. Well, if you don't have a picture, you sure as heck don't have any fingerprints. They can get hard to tell who's really who. They're essentially ghost criminals. Good luck finding your ghost criminals. What more do you want? You got a red carpet man that most Americans have never seen. I cannot imagine cash, free food, and a housing voucher. Wow. And now the streets are unsafer. Why? Because we have an illegal immigrant crime spree. Because what? You're dealing with people who are committing crimes, and what did he say they were? IDs. They can get hard to tell who's really who. They're essentially ghost criminals. Good luck finding a ghost criminal. For the American taxpayer, anyone, everybody. Be safe. Life is getting harder, and it's getting a lot more dangerous. We already have enough cuckoo criminals over here. Now we got a whole nother influx. That's my opinion. Anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Be alert. Be safe. There's too many dangerous dust buckets out there. And I'm out.